Hello, this is Shep here at the Sun Valley Auto Club. Today we've got a very special car in front of us. It is a 1957 Porsche 356A. This is a sunroof coupe. It's got the matching numbers engine and transmission. It's a restored, rebuilt 1600cc uh, engine with a four-speed manual transmission. This was originally uh, the color combination that this came out of the factory with. So it's original uh, black, black exterior, red interior car. Our mechanic uh, Wolfgang was telling me as he's going through this black one, a little bit of knowledge. Hopefully uh, he knows what he's talking about, but uh, he said that you used to hand pick the specific bodies to be uh, black cars, because those are always the, uh, the best bodies. Obviously a hand-built car, and with that black, you've just got to have uh, the smoothest lines, the best gaps, etc. So, we'll give, give that out to Wolfgang. First time I've heard it, but it does have, uh, does seem to make sense to me. But this one is absolutely uh, just stunning both on the underside, the interior, the body, the paint. This was a nut and bolt restoration completed by Vince uh, Boba. So everything's been rebuilt on it. Uh, they used all the original plating, bumpers, the nuts, the bolts, and the screws. The interior was redone uh, by Autos International. The gauges were redone by uh, Palo Alto Speedometer. We'll jump inside and take a look. Those are sealed beam headlights. So fantastic body, fantastic underside. I'm sure everybody's seen their share of gorgeous looking Porsches uh, on the top side. And you get them on a, on a lift to take a look of what's underneath and it's can be frightful just because of the age of these vehicles. This one has been epoxy sealed and I've got lots of uh, under photos showing that off. So, uh, Ferdstein tires from Hollander on there. We've got a video of this one driving down the road. So look for a second video on this one. Let me grab my, my light bar, make sure we get the best view of this because this interior carpet fit and finish, just amazing at every level. So the good one about this, the good thing, pardon me, about this is this has had a uh, really good ownership after the restoration. So one of my good friends, look how buttery smooth that window regulator is. So owned by a, a Porsche collector, really knows his, his stuff. He's got a partner that works with him on these two. That's his 86 Turbo, which is up on P car market as well. Another black with a, Red interior, 6,000 miles. That one just sold and this is ready to be shipped out. But getting back to the 356, so rather than just acquiring this vehicle just because of its beauty, they really went through and continued sorting it out. Seems like every restoration I've ever seen or been a part of there's done and then there's they're sorted after all the work is done and so just small little things that that weren't quite right they were they were addressed there was a linkage issue um just from the throttle it was hitting the the back of the engine in a way to where you couldn't get the rpms up over 4,000. just kind of felt like there's a flat spot that was not an engine problem that was just linkage and then, you know, small little bizarre things like the headlights would come on, or I'm sorry, the, uh, the reverse lights would come on when you'd put on the headlights. Just small little things like that. But that's 
those have all been sorted out. And so now not only do you have the beauty, you've got a really well-functioning car as well. Take a look at those gauges and the beautiful wheel, beautiful dash. This one's never even seen water, let alone being outside at this caliber. You just wouldn't uh, expect that. Although it'd be awful fun to love those speaker guards. It would be just fun just to, to drive it like a car. We certainly did on the test drive. We got a video of that. I'll go ahead and turn this on momentarily. Turn the engine over and we can have a listen. We've got lots of photos, but it's always nice just to kind of get a moving shot, make sure there's nothing that was missed on the photographs. Fully functioning sunroof. Slides easily. Set that down for now. That's part of that linkage that just needed to be adjusted. I was looking for for the hood release. Seems like 